Welcome to Sandra's Therapeutic Kitchen. Today we are going to make Haitian style beef liver for breakfast. It's gonna be delicious. Good morning guys. Um, today I am going to make some beef liver, okay? Haitian style beef liver. So I'm gonna say foie du. All right, so this is my beef liver that I purchased. So what I'm gonna do is um, cut it. I'm going to wash it, basically. Cut it and wash it. So it's a little bloody. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour some water in there and get, and get the blood out of there. I'm gonna cut them into little pieces, okay? Before I clean it. Some, not too too small but I am cutting them into little pieces okay guys so my livers are cut up I didn't cut it too small because um, once it start cooking, it's going to shrink, okay? And it's not hard. It, um, the store really cleaned it pretty well. So now all I'm doing is going to add some lime juice to it. Lemon juice. And I'm going to add some fresh lime in it. I'm gonna let it sit for like two, three minutes before I put my spice. So here are the spices I'm gonna use for my um, wadu or my liver. I have some fresh spices right here. So I have habanero pepper, um, thyme, onion, tomato, cilantro, Haitian a piece, some dry seasoning. And I'm gonna have it with plantain and sweet potato, patat avec banane mi. And here is my um, liver that I'm going to season. Adding like a tablespoon of the Haitian a piece. Okay. A Haitian spice, of course. This is a Haitian meal, so we need to put our Haitian spice in there. All right. And we'll add some seasoning, a little complete seasoning, not too much. A little onion powder, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning. Now. Okay, so I'm gonna start the cooking process with um, adding a little bit of oil. I'm also going to add um, some tomato just to give it some color. Some tomato. My oil is not hot enough, but we'll get to it. Okay, now my oil did get hot, so I was waiting for it to get hot. Um, I kept the tomatoes in there, not much. Now I'm adding a little um, 
tomato sauce. I'm gonna add a little um, onions, bell pepper, fresh garlic. All right. So it, so when I put my meat, it can marinate really well in there. a little water because I wanted to cook I'm gonna add a little thyme I don't have parsley so I'm adding some cilantro and a habanero pepper. And I'm gonna let it cook for 15, 20 minutes and I'll come back. Okay, so it's about 25 minutes. I allowed it to cook a little bit more because I wanted it to be tender. So what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna be tasting the sauce and also um, tasting the meat to see if it's tender enough. Um, so that's what I'm doing. It's not as tender as I want it to be. Therefore, I'm gonna keep it um, cooking for a couple more minutes. I'm adding some water to it and I'll be adding some um salt um seasoning um because it didn't have enough salt so i'm adding some complete seasoning and all-purpose seasoning um to give it um some really good taste that should be enough seasoning for now and um i'm going to also add some fresh bell peppers and onions and i'm gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes and it smells so good, so delicious in the kitchen. It's just amazing the way it smells. Only if you guys were in the kitchen, all those herb and spices, it smells so delicious. Oh my God, it smells delicious.